Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today I've got something a little spooky to review. It's a NECA Ultimate Annabelle Comes Home and about four, maybe five people have already switched off the review. <laughs> I've showed this to a few people since I've got it and some of them have said to me, you're absolutely nuts to want to keep something like this in your house. But, um, yeah, I like Annabelle. I think she's really creepy. As you can see from the box there, that one in the chair in particular is creepy. I like, like, the Conjuring movies are, to me, popcorn for your brain. Like, they're good horror films. They're not amazingly scary, but they're good, they're all a good watch. Um, the one thing I took from all of them, including the the tie-ins like the nun and La Laronia and all these kind of things, is this doll is really fucking cool. And when I saw NECA were making an ultimate figure of her, I was, I knew straight away, I was in. And as you can see from the pictures, the picture, the picture here, the figure looks really nice. So I'm going to take her over and have a better look at the box and show all you guys what you're missing out on if you're scared. Yeah. So let's get a better look at the box that Annabelle arrived in. So as you can see here, warning, positively do not open. Um, and that's the end of the review, folks. I'm not going to open it. I'm joking. So as you can see, there's a nice picture of here. Do not open. Annabelle comes home, which was actually a decent movie. I enjoyed that, despite the idios idiocy of the girls in the movie. <laughs> but that's what you get with horror films, I guess. So on the top, there's a really nice photo of Annabelle here. NECA Annabelle comes home. Warning choking hazard. Ages 17 and up. So don't go swallowing any dolls y'all. On the side you've got. A nice picture of her here again. Quite creepy. NECA real toys. On the back. On the bottom sorry. You've got all that uh, legal mumbo jumbo. Where it came from. Warner Brothers and all that stuff. And of course you've got the NECA guys here. Sculpted by Jason Frady. Frawley. Painted by Jeffrey Tapp and John Wardell. Fabrication, etc, etc. Tailoring, photography, package design. And of course, director and development, Randy Falk, who we all know if we're NECA followers. Uh, on the back, you've got some awesome in pictures here. Um, you can have a look at those. Like, I usually put pictures at the end of my reviews. And I know they're not going to be as good as these. Determined to keep Annabelle from wreaking more havoc, demonologist Ed and Lorraine Warren bring the possessed doll to the locked artifacts room in their home, placing her safely behind sacred glass and enlisting a priest's holy blessing. But an unholy night of terror awaits as Annabelle awakens the evil spirits in the room who all set their sights at a new target to Warren's 10-year-old daughter Judy and her friends. Includes display case note and three interchangeable heads. So, let's get to that. And pop. Again, you've got the positively do not open. Right there with the different head. And inside, you have Annabelle. The door has already come off. Should I be worried about that? I'm not sure. As you can see, it says the miss me thing here. Do not open. And you've got the two different heads. And you've got herself right in there. Which is nice. So now I'm going to open her. Despite what all the warnings say. Okay so here is Annabelle out of her cage or box. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the first thing I have to say about the glass the case. Is there was some assembly required. Nothing that any moron couldn't do though. You literally had to stick this on and put the door on properly. Now that just opens and closes perfectly so and she does fit in there so as for accessories she doesn't come with a lot she comes with her chair her box she comes with this head which is absolutely horrifying it's real the first thing i would say about these and most NECA is the detail is absolutely amazing on these figures you can even see if my camera would focus you can even see right on the the face like the scabs and cuts and stuff on her 
and the hair is really oh, it just has that dirty disgusting horrible dull feeling the eye as well you can see is all battered as well that's one head and the second one that comes loose with her is that really like intense angry look and like you, you can picture waking up to that first thing in the morning looking over at you from a chair you would probably shit your pants <laughs> but uh that's the two heads she comes with and she also comes with obviously her chair so let's get her off there for a second and it's a pretty standard chair nothing special that is sculpted it's not paint which is great it's really nice as i said the, dent the dental the del <laughs> i can't even speak the um detail is fantastic it comes with this little miss me note now if I were you, I would put this somewhere safe because it's quite small and I can imagine a lot of these go missing. Hopefully not the doll, but yeah. It just says miss me and it's like a little card. Quite flexible and yeah. Now, it also comes with this. Warning, positively. Whoop, do not open. So, that's for the case. So, I'm going to put that on now. It goes right on the top of it where it was on the box. So yeah, if it would open. So yeah, it's just very, very standard sticker just to go on the top there. Warning, positively, do not open. Unless she's already escaped, then it's too late. So let's look at Annabelle herself. Now, as you can, as you can imagine, the articulation isn't huge but she does you can I'm sure you can get her to stand up if you look at this down here her legs are quite fucked um, if you get her to stand up wow yeah there we go but I'm sure after a while I can get her to stand up let's look at the articulation the head doesn't move a lot it has waist articulation. The dress, of course, is fabric. There is a wire, so you can make it as long. You can shape it, basically, whatever way you want. You can make it as wide. But, uh, yeah. So, arms do go out. They do go all the way around. Her elbows do move, which is class. And she does have wrist articulation, so you can have her have a bottle of beer or whatever if she wants. If she's that kind of girl, you decide for yourself. But um, yeah, she does, of course, her legs go up like that. Showing off a bit of leg to Chucky there, but anyway. So she sits perfectly on, there is knee articulation as well, so she sits perfectly on her chair. So... Let's put her in the box just to make sure she fits. And obviously she does because she came in the box. She arrived in the box. And this figure will be pretty cool for playing like practical jokes on people I think as well. If you have her, just have her around the house and then... Oh, where did Annabelle go? <laughs> the door open. But it does fit, but the door... There is a bit of... Um, so you really properly have to close it to keep her in there and her heads are there so value for money i don't know it's quite expensive this figure but it basically like it doesn't do a lot it's it's a cool action figure and i'm sure you get pretty cool pictures as i'm going to attempt to in a while but for the price you're paying the ultimate neck ultimate price it doesn't do a lot really it's a magnificent display piece and I'd say once you mess around with it once you probably probably won't mess around with it again and just leave it on display but you can't fault NECA for detail and all that stuff she looks absolutely horrendous in the best possible way like even down to the to the rows here it's really nice but value for money 
no I don't think she should have been cheaper I reckon but in still saying that I I am happy I have her now so she because I do have a I do have um, an Echo Horror collection which includes like all the horror greats like like uh, Michael Myers Jason Letterface Chucky and she'll go well with those guys but again though I wouldn't oh. oh she tried to jump out the door there she is quite fiddly once you once you get her in there and it's tough to keep it in is it worth it my final verdict would be no but in saying that hmm, I don't know it's hard it's hard to put to nail this review down because it's personal preference I really wanted her and I was happy to pay the money for her so that's my view on it but for others who connect NECA Ultimates and it's not the same quality it's not the same articulate it's not a good action figure it's a good it's a fantastic display piece and that's the best I can say about it so for me I would give it biased I would give it 8 out of 10 um, neutrally I would give it 6 because of the price you can't fault the actual thing itself and at the end of the day it's a doll it doesn't do a lot in the movies even just turns its head so they have nailed it but it's not a great action figure so yeah that's my review and uh, I hope you liked it enjoyed it if you did leave a comment drop a like and if you're really feeling generous drop a subscribe so and also if you're into horror stuff a friend of mine let's 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 survive paddy plays is another channel on youtube and he goes through uh, survival horror games and stuff like that so he's well worth a follow as well so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you soon bye